In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way of uploading and downloading files with FTP in Visual Studio Code. So guys, here I have my site open on ftp.txt file and my VS Code editor. The first thing you want to do is go to the extensions button. Now start typing ftp-sync. Click on the first extension to select it and click on the install button. Now you can close the installation tab and also close the extensions by clicking on the button. To create a new project in VS Code, you have to select a folder. So go ahead and go to File menu and click on Open Folder. Now I already created a folder on my C drive and named it semicolon.dev because that's my site. But you should probably create your own folder that works best for your project. Now go ahead and find your folder, select it and click on the Open Folder button. When you do that, the project is created and all this stuff is open. Just close as much as you can because we don't really need any of that crap right now to upload and download files with FTP. Now, what you want to do is hit Control Shift P or Command Shift P on the keyboard to open the VS Code command palette. Now, start typing FTP sync. There's a bunch of options here, but what you want is the remote to local. Then click on the create config to create a new FTP configuration file. Now type the IP address of your domain name into the host property. Enter your FTP user username and password. If you're using SFTP, which you probably should, change FTP to SFTP and the port to 22. If you have any large folders like node modules, it's probably a good idea to add them to the ignore list so you don't get to download them from your FTP and wait a bunch of time. So here I added node modules to ignore list. Now on top of the file here we have remote path and you probably want to remove the leading dot there that's there by default and simply type the path to your domain name on your web host. It's probably also a good idea to add the trailing slash at the end. This way, we'll get to download all the files directly into this folder. Now, hit Control Shift P again to go to the command palette. Start typing FTP sync. Click on the remote to local. Click on choose this folder and click on full sync. Now, okay, at this point, FTP sync will start downloading files from your web server. And then, if you want to upload an edited file, you just have to find it on the list open it up, um, apply your changes, and in order to upload the file, go ahead and right click on the file again on the list and choose FTP sync upload file. Now, if I refresh my browser, you'll see that the file has actually been changed. So this is basically how you use VS Code FTP to upload and download files into your project. 